everyone, and welcome to an episode of Aya's Challenge with the very me, Miss Ha. For each episode, I will invite a guest of honor who is a teacher at Aya's Fighter to be answering 10 questions on Aya's Speaking Part 1. We all know they are very talented, but let's test it out for real, right? Okay, and today, as you can already guess, I'm standing here at IELTS 22 Nguyen Huang in Hanoi. And who would be my guest of honor? Well, let's go and find out. My name is Kiwan and I'm one of the teachers here at IELTS Fire, one of the most critically acclaimed IELTS centers in Hanoi and as well as uh, Vietnam. Awesome! Uh, I just heard that you would like saying hello in other languages, right? Yes, I speak uh, a little bit of French. I used to learn French back when I was in high school and I also learned a bit of Chinese when I was in university so I think it's like three foreign languages in Hong Kong Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> well, I'm planning to learn another foreign language in the couple of years but uh, that is in the foreseeable future, not right now Would you say that you have like a passion for language? I would say so, definitely. I think I have a nut for learning languages in general. Okay, cool. So I would like to test you out today. You are okay, that's only scary. English. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask about French or anything. Okay, only that's in good. English. <laughs> that's good. So I have already prepared 10 questions. Mm -hmm. uh, it belongs to IELTS English Part 1. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all right here. Let me get it. Mm -hmm. Ta da! Okay. It's all in this box, box of mystery, everyone. And um, so, are you ready? Not yet, but I think I have to go for it. Okay, let's get started. And she got questions number seven. Are there any things you don't like about your area? That's me, living area. Right, that's a very intriguing question, but uh, in my opinion, there's nothing that I want to opt to about my neighborhood. I think my current neighborhood or my area is the uh, place that I want to come back to whenever I have an exhausting day at work and it is the nest that I want to be with so um, nothing change in the foreseeable, foreseeable future I hope. Okay, cool. Um, so that's like a, quite a long answer, do you mm. think so to that question? Would you say that for every question in IELTS, mm. you should also give that kind of long answer? Uh, actually, I think it should vary 30 to 40 seconds for part 1, which means that your, an your answer should be like from 2 to 3 sentences in length. Okay, now we get on to the second question. My okay. turn to pick. And yeah, oh, this is a question about your house. Mm. Um, what can you see when you look out of the window? Uh, I'm currently residing in a very bustling area uh, within in the outskirts of Hanoi. So uh, whenever I look out the window of my room, I can see like people trying to make a bargain at the local nearby market. Not in the near future, but like in the far future, I would like to be able to afford a, uh, a bungalow in the rural area. That way, I can enjoy and uh, suck in the fresh air every morning. Oh, that's cool! Oh, and I also have just heard you mention bungalow. Can yes. you exp uh, explain a little bit about that? A bungalow is like a one-story house, which is very big and usually located in the rural area instead of a city or metropolis. Oh, okay. So that's one word for you guys to remember. Bungalow. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Third one. You want to pick? Okay. Go for you. Right, there you go. So, oh, a bit longer one. Mm -hmm. Could you please describe like a special feature or decoration in your room? In my room, I think the most like unique and significant uh, trait of my room 
is the design. From my opinion, I, I try to design everything in my own personal test. Uh, it is a blend of contemporary and state-of-the-art design which makes me feel like it's my own room, very personal and very comforting for me. You mentioned contemporary and state-of-the-art. Mm -hmm. uh, both of those words are referring to something quite modern, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, would you say that it's your style, living style, that you prefer something a little bit you know, not really classical, but something kind of fair, minimal. It depends on certain item. Uh, if it is my accommodation, I prefer to stay uh, chic and minimal. Yes. Mm. But when it comes to certain thing, you know, like my personal belonging, like just just say a bag, I prefer to have some stuff like rustic or vintage charm to it. I mean, look at how you like dress yourself. I can already tell. You also want a little bit of, a little bit of classy, so so to speak. Yeah, right? yeah. I tend to go for minimal color, like black, white, and gray. Black and gray, guy. <laughs> okay, next one. It's gonna be which one is it going to be? Question number nine. Are there many amenities near your house? Okay. By the way, do you know what amenity means? Amenities would be things mm. like shops or schools mm. or supermarkets. Mm. Yeah, that serves for your everyday life, I would say, right? Mm, yes, absolutely. Although my house isn't located in the, at the heart of Hanoi, it is still a very uh, bustling area uh, in the outskirts. Uh, so everything and ne like necessary and essential more cons are uh, just within walking distance from the house. Oh, that's very interesting. Yes. Because people tend to think that if you live in a big city, one mm. of the pros is that you can have a lot of things around, right? You can mm. easily shop or, or get anything that you want. Mm -hmm. But you are saying that even in the outskirts, you mm. can still have everything that you need within walking distance. And by the way, within walking distance means uh, near or nearby, yes. Okay. Thank you for another vocabulary. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, we are reaching the end. Let's see what's the next one. What kind of housing do you live in? Okay. Uh, as in, are you living in a flat or are you living in a house? I live in a house. Yes. And my house has is a very humble and a small two-story house and I live with my family members in that very house. Although some people might refer to it as a little bit cramped, I still find very cozy and warm because it is my own nest. Wow, I, I feel like just based on your description, like yeah. really a few short sentences, I can already imagine how your house is like. Um, so it's, can you just stop for a moment and share with us a little bit on um, you know, a lot of people tend to get stuck on thinking longer answer, long mm. answer for a speaking part one even. So, mm. what are your tips for them, like in order to just have a longer questions or more ideas? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's their intriguing question, really. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but I tend to speak at length. Like, even in Vietnamese? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, some people might, might even say that I ramble a lot. <laughs> yeah, 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 but like I tend to speak the truth, uh, not lies. So it is the truth, so I can, you know, just speak about whatever I want. But then you get really nervous, right? I can, I, I, I've come across so many people saying mm. that, you know, you're in a room, you're facing an examiner, mm -hmm. and it's a really important test. Mm -hmm. So you get nervous and you couldn't think of anything. Yes, agree. I took the aisle twice, and at my first take, the examiner was super nice, super hospitable, friendly, etc. And I did pretty well. But on my second take, the examiner was a very strict one. <laughs> I had to stay calm and you know just think of the test as a casual conversation between two friends. And yeah, I think that is my tips. Yeah. 
Yeah, like just be really comfortable, I think. Yeah. Like, because normally if you practice, you would yeah. probably talk to someone that you already know, right? Mm -hmm. Not like in an environment with a stranger and with mm -hmm. a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. So maybe it, it's all in your head. You just mm -hmm. have to imagine that you maybe in your home, on your yes. bed, yes, <laughs> talking to like someone you know. Yes. Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah. Um, Okay, so we're reaching the end, but only two questions left. Would you change anything about your home? Why or why not? Okay, that is a uh, tough nut to crack, really. <laughs> Currently, I think if anything, the only thing that I want to ameliorate about my room is that I want to enlarge my room in order to have more space mm -hmm. to chill out and have some me time like uh, indulging my favorite book uh, etc yeah okay thank you so we're in for the last questions which mm -hmm. is also our bonus uh, round mm -hmm. and you just mentioned earlier that you tend to speak the truth however with this bonus round mm -hmm. it is required that you might either speak the truth or a lie mm. and I would be the one to guess if it's the truth or the lie Is there any like some sort of like penalty for you if you uh, guess wrong? For now no That's so unfair <laughs> guys. I get bull from people Please don't hate me <laughs> Okay, okay sure. Okay, uh, ready for the bonus round? Oh, sure, no, last sure Let's go sure. for it Alright, which is your favorite room in your home? You have 30 seconds to be maybe a mobile or a tree. 30 seconds later. Okay, that was short. My perennial favorite spot in my house is definitely my room, aka my bedroom. In my own space, I can do anything that I want, like, you know, grabbing a book that I like to read or watching my favorite TV show without being disturbed by anyone. Yes. Okay. Um, well, you just say that you like your room the most mm. and you like to read books mm. and watching TV shows, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. And she also mentioned earlier that she wants to enlarge her room so that she can have more of her, her time. Mm. And uh, not to mention that you like to say the truth. You're mm. a very honest person. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say it's a truth. No, it's a lie. What? No, it is. It is. It is. Come on. It is. I don't even have a TV in my own room. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's where you got me. My favorite spot in my entire house is the balcony, where Ooh. I can plant the cheese. I have a lot of uh, plant pots in my house, which were given to me by my Oh, cool! Yes. Amazing! A lot of plant pots. Very... That's like a treasure's play where you display all your trophy with uh, incense yes, plants. Yes. So, I, I just want to ask because it, it seems mm. like I didn't really give you much time to come up with like a lie. So, what do you say that, you know, for IELTS speaking, mm. you, you can also lie just on top of your head, whatever comes to your mind? I think that you can lie in an IELTS speaking test. However, if you lie, the lie must be consistent with each other, you know. You shouldn't say uh, that you live in the outskirts of Hanoi, but then in the next question, you mentioned that the city centre of Hanoi is very bustling and full of the hustle and bustle. That's very unreasonable. Oh, okay, yeah. So there still have to be some logical sense in it. Yeah, the exam doesn't uh, judge you or mark you on the content. Mm. So it's up to you, it's totally up to you. But I think it should be logical and reasonable somehow. Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, and that's it for our 10 questions today of the IELTS challenge. Thank you very much. Yes, it's our MTSNC. Um, well, I say thank you mm -hmm. to our guest of honor today, Ms. Gilang. And if you like it, please give a thumbs up for us, comment to who you want to see next, and subscribe for our next video. Until next time, bye! Bye! Spider, tiên phong phổ cập IELTS cho người Việt.